virus has affected people in more than 24 countries, including here in the U.S., and soon it might start to affect the pockets of business owners. As P.J. Walker reports, most haven't been affected yet, but some are fearing the worst. A new study finds more than 5 million businesses worldwide could be affected by factories being shut down in China, including the hockey supply industry. Let's just concentrate on hockey sticks. I think that's one of the things that they probably have a pretty good inventory stateside. But what happens when that inventory goes down? U.S. suppliers like Bauer and Canadian supplier CCM account for close to 75 percent of hockey sticks, which mostly are made in China. We're just coming out of our peak time um, and going into the slower time of the year. Although there won't be as many coming in to purchase hockey supplies within the next few months, owner Duffy Dobak says he is still worried. I'll be working on some custom orders this morning, and when it comes right down to placing those orders, which aren't due till fall, I don't need them any time short term. I mean, we got months to work on them, but I hope this doesn't hang around too long. Otherwise, absolutely, that could affect us getting those orders in a timely fashion. Even though he hasn't seen a problem yet, there are others who have. We provide, um, you know, sticks for the players, obviously. If guys want to go kind of above and beyond, um, you know, they can pay a little bit of fee themselves and, and get high, high-end sticks. Which the assistant coach of the Montoro says come from China. I think that that's kind of a chain effect of, um, you know, coming from the NHL where, where you are seeing, you know, some shortage of sticks being provided for those players. He estimates each player uses a new stick every two weeks, and for now, they have enough stopped to keep the game going. Reporting in Minot for KX News, I'm PJ Walker. Other industries depending on goods from China are electronics, car parts, and even some foods we eat here in the United States.